Hello, hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. If I can please have all of our speakers for the news conference join right over here to, the, to my right, so to the left of the podium. And then everyone else either just kind of float behind the cameras or to the seats in the back. Thank you so much. Can I get everybody's attention? Hello, hello. Good afternoon, Detroit. Good afternoon. I'm Jessica Parker, Deputy COO from the Mayor's Office for the City of Detroit. How exciting is today to see all of these cleats on display? This is one of many projects the city is in the process of completing as we prepare to host the 2024 NFL Draft downtown Detroit. Exciting, right? Yeah. Yes. So one of the priorities the city made is to make sure that our residents and our local businesses are engaged. This is their draft too, and we want them to feel part of it. And this project, the Decleated Project, is one of them. They highlight our local artists while raising funds for charities. Okay, so that in itself is exciting as well. The City Walls program has completed over 200 murals, made our walls in the city of Detroit look beautiful. They're works of art. And now they have put those murals on sneakers, and those sneakers will be placed downtown. That is 
amazing, and we are excited for this project. I want to thank our partners, DMC and Visit Detroit. And right now, we'll bring up Harriet Carter from Visit Detroit, VP. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm so glad to have everyone here. Um, I want to like to thank Jessica, and I am honored um, to be standing before you to talk about the DECLEAT project. It is truly a labor of love, and I am so grateful to the leadership of Jessica, the vision of Zach Mears, and Bethany Howard, the tireless and the efforts that she has brought to make this project happen. So give these yes. three people a round of applause. <laughs> you know, as we prepare to host the NFL draft, we have a unique opportunity to highlight the incredible talent Detroit artists have in a very grand way. The depleted murals that will be placed downtown in our community par uh, partners is not just for beautiful works, but it is a testament to the fusion of art, sports, community, and hospitality that captures the essence of Detroit, the love of football, and the immense talent our artists bring and who reside in the city of Detroit. And I also want to express a heartfelt gratitude to our 12 hotel partners, and I know we have some in the house, raise your hand, and Wayne County Airport, Huntington Place, for their support and collaboration in showcasing Detroit's incredible artists throughout the depleted pro project. They opened up the doors and dedicated spaces within their venues. This collaboration with, with the venues has said to the city, has said to the hospitality community that Detroit as a city ce celebrates the support of our local Detroit talented artists. The power of art enriches our lives. It would enrich our lives of visitors who will be coming in for the NFL draft, and it really gives the um, capacity, the, the integrity, the, 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 the dedication to our residents, and it's truly commendable to have our residents, our visitor, our art community, and our hospitality community all in one, singing off the same page. By integrating the local Detroit artists and our hospitality community, it's, we have created a unique experience for our guests and visitors. Our residents and visitors, I implore that our residents and visitors come out and discover these magnificent murals that will be displayed to all downtown Detroit. Furthermore, the Decleated will provide a platform for Detroit local artists to gain exposure, recognition on a national stage. The NFL presence in our city will bring national spotlight, and we want to ensure that our community, our residents, and our Detroit artists are a part of this incredible opportunity. Today, we are thrilled to see extraordinary work done by our Detroit Sports Commission, the Living Legacy Partners. We have two projects, Project Play and Beyond Basics, who are showcased in this fabulous collection of art pieces um, at the part of the Decleat project. So you will have two of our beautiful cleats that will, will really promote our two legacy programs, Project Play and Beyond Basics. The Sports Commission partnership with Project Play emphasizes sports with a dedicated focus to empowering girls 
in sports and getting our children in Detroit region more active in play and sports. The relationship that we have with Beyond Basics focus on education, particularly literacy. Work, work is being done with literacy intervention with programs in the Detroit public school system, particularly in Dixon Elementary and the Detroit Lions Academy. Thank you, the living legacy. We extend impact beyond the 2024 NFL draft and we ensure that every significant sports occasion benefits will benefit the Detroit public school system through the Detroit Sports Commission. I want to thank the Detroit Sports Commission for providing $1 million to these initiatives. As I close, visit Detroit City Walls. We have worked together to secure an online auction th through one cause. That will allow you, the public, civic organizations, and corporation and nonprofits to bid on cleats and raise funds for the designated Detroit-based charities. The funds will go directly to the charities and the auction will go live April 1st and we will provide more information later. But before I leave, I want to thank everyone again. I want to thank Visit Detroit, our hotel partners, Wayne County Airport, Huntington Place, the city of Detroit, Jessica, for being my right hand, City Walls, Zach and Bethany, they work very, very hard, and I'm so happy to have met them. And most important, the Detroit local artists who have really... <laughs> put their heart and spirit in these beautiful projects. Once again, thank you. It's my privilege to be a part of this great program. So now I'd like to bring in on Zach Mears. Thank you. All right, so let's have another round of applause for Harriet and Jessica, the project champions. And uh, so, you know, first off, I want to thank Mayor Duggan for his continued leadership and his uh, support of the City Walls program. Uh, it's amazing to see an idea come to fruition, like a seed that somehow against all odds transforms into a tree. And I was lucky enough to be witness with all of you here, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else today than amongst this forest of cleats surrounded by some of the best and brightest the city has to offer. I always say that what you see influences how you see, and it's inspiring and energizing to see firsthand the Detroit arts community link up with the city's charitable organizations to bring this most magnificent mosaic of talent together. These are indeed a tangible good. These cleats are artifacts of change, hope, and opportunity. Everyone here has harnessed the moment in front of us to benefit not themselves, but the folks who need it the most and is creating a blueprint on how we should treat these opportunities presented to us when we're hosting these global events. So it's really kind of simple. When pre presented with an opportunity like this, just ask yourself, how can I leverage this resource in order to benefit others? So thanks everybody who put the work together and believed in the project from the beginning. Without all you guys, we really couldn't have made this happen. And especially to the artists for using their superpowers for the power of good. Yeah, that's right. And uh, now I have the opportunity uh, to introduce the maestro, the project manager extraordinaire, the brilliant beyond belief, right. Bethany right. Howard. Yeah. 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 Hey, y'all. Hey. What up, though? All right, I know every time we have a City Walls press release, I get up here and say excited like 17 times. So excited times 17 per use. Um, 
So now today, um, you know, I'm just really excited, see? <laughs> this project has made me so proud to serve as project manager for City Walls Detroit. Uh, there was so much collaboration and coordination to get this project off the ground. Uh, first, it comes from Zach's brain. Then I implement it. I do the people and the manufacturing from there. But none of that would have come to life without our incredible, creative Detroit-based artists. Woo! And then just to add an extra layer on, our community leaders with these organizations, like it's bananas how these people are superheroes, <laughs> literal superheroes in Detroit. <laughs> so the community leaders who work when no one is looking, I have learned so much from each organization and each cause. Ones that I didn't know about, like SDM2 with Miss Jackie, who holds a Tuesday food pantry like you have never seen in your life. <laughs> to learning more about the Children's Center and the many resources they provide and project play that encourages sports sampling for children and even a full circle moment because one of our artists, Rick Williams, AKA Metal Feet, chose to represent New Era Detroit of which I was a previous member. And because I know the work of these organizations and have learned more and experienced the work with others, I am in awe of the literal magic that is currently in this room right now. So with that being said, I want all of my artists to raise their hands. Everybody look around. I have some tucked over here in the corner. Um, these, are the, these are the incredible humans that you need to talk to, media. Organizations, where are your hands? Everybody raise your hand. Woo! More people that you need to talk to. And then our location stewards, my uh, hotels, the airport, everybody who's going to have a clean, where's your hands? Look around the room. Thank you so much for babysitting my babies. <laughs> okay, so now we'll talk to three of the 20 of the artists and location, not location, artists and organization pairs. So we'll have them come up and for each person, so each artist, you got one and a half minutes, go get your best three sentences in your head. Okay, location, not oh, locations, organizations, also same thing. And then we'll go from there. So first up, we have Trey Isaac and the children. Oh, Roxanne, I'm sorry. I got too excited. That's right. Yep. Roxanne, I'm sorry. Where are you? Oh, here we go. I'm going to introduce Roxanne. And Roxanne is from, she's the vice president of the Detroit Lions Foundation and Community Relations. So, one more round of applause for the maestro. My goodness, bringing everyone together today. I think every single person in here raised their hand when she asked them to, so that means we're all here because of you. Fantastic work, thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Detroit Lions, I am delighted to be here and represent our organization and celebrate this moment in time that we have with the upcoming draft. Did you know that we're having a draft in like 35 days? 35 days. You guys do not sound excited about that at all. I'm disappointed. Bless you. Hey, so the draft is coming, right? Thank you. Thank you. And as the NFL club partner for this year's draft, we are so excited for this unveiling today of this magnific magnificent creative expression project. Now that we've already heard a lot about what Decleated highlights and what it represents and the tremendous work of our Detroit uh, based nonprofit organizations working toward some of the most pressing issues that we face and that our citizens face. And it is, it is with deep honor and respect and privilege that we at the Detroit Lions are partnering with you in this, in this effort and we are highlighting the work that you do. It is especially important to us because this project aligns with one of our most important uh, campaigns that we do each year, which is called Inspire Change. 
In Detroit, Inspire Change is a player-led, um, pardon me, it, it is a player-led community initiative focusing on social justice issues to do both raise awareness and funds to um, directly affect people in a tangible and meaningful way. And we see this depleted project as an extension of just that because above all, you know, we are giving voice to sometimes the work that seems so, so hard and, and it's at the grassroots level. But most importantly, all of you are inspiring change. And it is this change that is making this city great, and it's the grit that we all have, right? right. So, um, at Ford Field, uh, we will proudly display a cleat designed by Fele, who I just met. Where, where is he? Right. He's somewhere. Where is he? There you are. You took it. Okay, you had, you had your jacket off. Sorry. And, and that cleat happens to be right over here. Um, we are so excited uh, to, to have that cleat at Ford Field. It's a beautiful depiction of the lions, of number 20, Barry Sanders. Have you heard of him? please. And, um, and we are also thrilled to uplift an organization through that cleat that um, is none other than Cody Rouge Community Action Alliance. In case you didn't know, Community Rouge works tirelessly in three distinct areas, neighborhood stabilization, youth development, and community engagement. Because they have the second highest population of children ages zero to 18, Cody Rouge um, is there to provide needed resources to all of their residents. They offer engagement and leadership programming to their youth, and much more they do in helping to reduce blight and providing a sustainable community, helping to create and recreate a sustainable community, which is really, in essence, strengthening families and giving our kids the best potential future they could possibly have. So well done. Well done, Cody Rouge. If I could be selfish for just a moment and brag on one other cleat that was inspired by, by a, a player that is near and dear to, should be all of our hearts, um, and that is a, a cleat that was designed by Wendy Popko and supports the Rags Remembered Foundation. If you didn't know, Rags, yes, please. And I think that's, it was one that was uh, right when you walked in. If you, did, if you don't know, the Rags Remembered Foundation was founded by our uh, Detroit Lions Center Pro Bowl, Pro Bowler, three-time three Pro Bowler, and also our current Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee for Detroit, Frank Ragnow. But yes, please give him some applause. He deserves it. Based on his personal experience of losing his father when he was in college, Frank now helps grieving families bond and heal through, the engage, through engaging activities in, with the power of the outdoors. He personally hosts fishing expeditions and other activities to help people who are going through similar experiences come together and bond and heal as one. So, as I close my comments, I just want to acknowledge everyone here in the room. Zach Mears, what, where'd you go? It's great to meet you today, by the way. We've, we've seen each other on Zoom a lot this, this winter. Uh, but uh, your vision and bringing this forward, uh, fantastic. Help all those who have been a part of it. We are, we are so proud to be part of it. And to the artists, who I'm so envious of your, as somebody called, superpowers and, and God-given talent. Thank you for capturing what these nonprofit communities are trying, or com, pardon me, capturing what these nonprofit organizations are trying to do in our community in the most beautiful and memorable way. Well done, everyone. Thank you. All right, I'm looking at the run of show this time, so we're gonna get it together. All right, so now I'm going to introduce Dion Williams, who's the Director of Community Engagement at DMC. Good afternoon, everyone. 
Dion Williams here. I'm so happy to be here, so excited. The DMC is so excited to be a part of this important collective uh, body of work representing our community, representing and partnering with the city of Detroit, Visit Detroit, and all of us that are here in this room today. We are so proud to be involved with the Deep Cleat Initiative and, the, and are fortunate that our Children's Center will be uh, receiving some funds or receiving some some of the benefits from what's happening here at this um, at this event, the city of Detroit is at the heart of the DMC's core focus and priority. We have been providing uh, community care for over 150 years in the city of Detroit, right? 150 years. So we are embedded in into this system. We are Detroit. We the DMC is Detroit. Is resiliency? Is grit? Is grime? It's everything. We are here. We are part of that. And we appreciate the opportunity, again, to partner with the city of Detroit and this initiative. We are committed to being here. We are committed to helping the city and providing health care across the city, across to our community, in which everyone deserves the best possible resources and, and services that we can uh, provide. So again, to the artists, to the city of Detroit, to all those that are involved in this initiative, Bethany, Jessica, Zach, we appreciate you so much and thank you. All right, now to introduce the artists and the charity duos. First up, we're gonna have Trey Isaac in the Children's Center. Following Trey in the Children's Center, we'll have, uh, well, so, excuse me, the CEO, Nicole Will Stallsworth. And then we'll have Phil Simpson and Project Play and the President Rick DeVore. And then next we'll have Chaz Miller and SDM2 CEO Jacqueline Moore. So first up, Trey and Ms. Stallworth. What up, though? How are we doing today? Good, good, good. Thank you all for coming out. My name is Trey Isaac. I've been an artist born and raised here in Detroit for over 20 years. Um, I take great pride in what it is that I do and how it is and I'm able to do it, um, to be what it is that I like to call a creative storyteller in a sense, to be able to take the visions and the missions of different companies, organizations, communities, and even individuals and amplify those using my talents. Um, I'm very grateful for the opportunity that City Walls Detroit provided with this Decleated project. I chose to work with the Children's Center based on the work that they do for the uh, children in our community. With me being someone who's uh, experienced trauma at a young age, at 16 and 18, I lost uh, my baby brother and my mother to cancer. So uh, what I kind of like to say is I took that trauma and I used art to transform it into a triumph. And the way that the Children's Center works with the children in our community through the different programs and through the different things that they uh, you know, connect with them on, they help those same youth turn their traumas into triumph as well, and that's something that I was able to reflect with. The uh, artwork that I chose to depict, you know, it kind of honors and glorifies that in a nice little geometric stained glass manner, so that's kind of like the reasons I chose to aesthetically go the route that I did. Again, very thankful for uh, Nicole as part of the Children's Center CEO herself, thankful for Bethany, Zach, everyone who was involved with the project, and again, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Trey. Uh, what up, though, everyone, in the spirit of why we're here? My name is Nicole Wells Stallworth, and I am the president and CEO at Children's Center. And we are truly honored to be part of the 2024 NFL Drafts excitement. Bethany? 18. <laughs> For 95 years, the Children's Center has been a beacon of hope for Detroit families. We provide evidence-based clinical treatment and child well-being services to children and youth who need them. Our team of caring professionals also recruit, license, and train foster families to receive care and receive and care for the children who may have experienced a trauma or who may have experienced abuse or neglect. This allows them the foundation to begin their healing journey from those experiences. 17% of Michigan teens ages 12 to 17, according to a recent study by Mental Health America, have experienced and reported experiencing a depressive episode in 2021. But according to the Michigan Citizens Research Council, a third of those young people were not able to receive treatment. In our work at the Children's Center, we empower 
children and youth with the tools they need to effectively navigate their life circumstances and obtain a true sense of agency in their lives through certain programs such as our art therapy programs, for example. Trey, thank you so much for choosing the Children's Center as a beneficiary of your creative expression. Trey's powerful art installation that he pointed out reflects his own journey in overcoming a trauma as he described. And it's my hope that this piece will serve as a catalyst for erasing stigma about seeking and addressing, seeking help and addressing the necessary mental health treatment that anyone may need. The Children's Center is truly grateful to be part of such an important cause to celebrate not only the diversity of the artists that we have in our city of Detroit, but also the diversity of the children and youth in our community and to uplift the power of possibilities when children are provided the care and the support and the opportunities that they all deserve. Thank you, Trey, once again. Thank you to the city of Detroit, to City Walls, and to everyone who made this possible. We are all making a difference in the lives of future generations. Thank you once again. Hello, everyone. Uh, first off, thank you guys for having me here today. Um, as a father of a, of, a, of a striving, just energetic young lady who's playing soccer, who's doing gymnastics, who's interested in flag football, it's an honor to paint uh, this cleat here for Project Play. Um, we are, in our household, we are the advocate for education, sports, and, and reading, and so this was beyond an honor. Brianna, Rick, the, the team here has brought me in to share my story, and, and uh, once again, Zach, I've become best friends with Bethany. I text her all the time for information, and just she's always updating me. Uh, the city of Detroit, um, everybody, thank you so much for having me. I didn't have much to say. I just wanted to say I'm happy to be here. I see some of my brothers in here. I see some of my mentors in here. I see some amazing artists in here. I'm just happy to be a part of it, and thanks again. Yeah. <laughs> Had the beauty before me, obviously, but... Uh, Phil, again, thank you so much. For us at the Community Foundation for Southeast Michigan, we can see his artwork out our window of our conference room. And my guess is that we're going to be an active bidder. Um, um, but let me, I just want to frame a little bit about Project Play because a lot of people don't know. And I want to tell you something that's really exciting that we're going to do that other cities have not done yet with a draft. Project Play is a, is a joint effort between the Wilson Foundation, the Community Foundation, and the Aspen Institute. There are only two cities in the United States that have full-time staff for Project Play, and those are Buffalo and Detroit. Our effort is led by Pat over here, a gift from the Detroit Lions. Uh, hopefully no hard feelings with the Lions, but, uh, but it's really about youth and having access to sports, especially young ladies. We're going to be out in the corner of the ball yard uh, on Wednesday um, with some flag football and so forth. And as a grandparent of a young lady that plays not only in a girls league, but a boys league, it's pretty exciting uh, stuff that we're trying to cause here. But I want to talk to you just really briefly about something we're doing that I'm very proud of that is a lead behind. It's really important. We're blessed in the city that we do things, I like to think, better than anybody else, right? And so when we're done, Project Play is not going away, but also we're going to get ready for the next event, you know, whether that's the Final Four or whatever. And so we are establishing an endowment as well as a pass-through. So we're going to be making grants to youth activities, but also this endowment is going to allow us to be active in bidding on future events. I can tell you... I can tell you that Kansas City didn't, not the, not the rag on Kansas City because they are Super Bowl champs, but Kansas City didn't do this, Nashville didn't do this, it's not Cleveland didn't do this. And really, if it makes the difference, and as a member of the Sports Commission, it makes a difference, you know, that last little thing, to make us stand out a little bit better than other people, then we've done our job. So 
So we're really excited about it. We're really excited about activating, not just for this, but for the future. And so we're just really proud to be partners and to be around talented people like you artists. I have nothing in that regard. Art is uh, not me. Um, so I'm glad that I have guys like Phil to help me out and bail me out. And by the way, Pancakes and Politics was this morning, hence the, the costume. Otherwise, I'd be more dressed like that. But thank you very much. Hi everybody, I'm Jacqueline Moore. I'm founder and CEO of SDM2 Project Education. And the first thing that I have to say is I'm so proud and excited for the city of Detroit. And guess what, in a few weeks, there's thousands and thousands of folks getting ready to come to our city to know what we already know. This is a great city. I'm excited to show us off. And I'm looking at all this artwork and it's, it's phenomenal. We got all of these great artists in this city. I'm just excited to be in this space. SDM2 Project Education, we focus on literacy, homework, literacy support, and mentorship for middle and high school students. But not only that, we focus on health and wellness. We believe healthy families build healthy communities. And so if we want the village to get involved in moving our young people forward and running this city, we gotta make sure that we have components in place. So we look at health and wellness to move it forward. And Chaz, this dude right here gets us 100%. I didn't have to tell him, Chaz, this is what I'm thinking on any of my artwork is, all over the place of chance. Not only him, we got Philly up in there. I'm just excited I got more than one artist at SDM2 that, that understands who we are and what we do. But he came up with what he wanted to depict who we are as an organization. And this cleat right here with this fruit and vegetables, with this lady, with this archery, says it all. We are committed to changing the neighborhood. And not only do we provide literacy support, homework support, mentorship, we're taking every blight and turning it to beautiful places. Because as the man said, I like that quote, you gotta see some things to believe some things. So at SDM2, we're trying to do just that, bring it together, and we got this artist right here. He and I can talk forever. And all of these nonprofits can talk forever because we're passionate about what we do, but we're committed to this city of Detroit. So Chaz, I just appreciate you coming on board and hanging out with me and doing what you do, because together we're making some change in the city. Thank you, Jacqueline. So first, I just want to thank everyone for having me. It's been a long journey. I've been doing murals and harping about how art and murals can change the city for over 25 years. I noticed that John George is in here. He was one of the first pe persons that I teamed up with to make a difference. So today, I'm not gonna take a lot of words. I've just been really busy in the lab. I'm, I'm always in the lab. I just wanna share a, a, uh, words, can't explain how I feel. And so, I have a little something I wanna share with you. I'm a little excited, just hold on. <laughs> oh, come on. I had my phone in my pocket and I was dialing my voice. I was <laughs> butt dialing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Make sure we lined up. All right, hold on. I'm sorry, I, I'm going as fast as I can, y'all. Yeah. Okay, make sure we got some sound. <laughs> I wrote the lyrics to Detroit. I created the song. In harmony, we rejoice under the mountain sky. Where legends were born, the sound of the city in the air is born. From the jazz in the alleys to the blues in the parks, teach us how beats and music ignite in the sparks. Everybody with Detroit, join the chorus, make some noise. For the man who meets the street, feels a groove in your feet. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. My YouTube channel, 
My YouTube channel is Black Quantum Studios. You can go hear the whole song. Thank you very All much. Right. 25 years, I can get one more minute. <laughs> All righty, so that wraps up our depleted um, press release and enjoy the the Better Made Snacks. We're going to do a quick picture set uh, with the artists. So all the artists, please come up. And the charities. And the charities.